Greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Welcome to the channel and uh, welcome to yet another conference. So uh, my brothers and my sisters, as it turns out, um, these dirty buzzards out here that, that formed themselves as a weapon against me um, saw that they could not prosper. Um, you know, they're just a bunch of punks and cowards and, you know, just people who don't like me and people who I don't like. And uh, But they know that... Um, if they approached me and tried to put their hands on me, I would put my foot in their mouth. They know that much. And I don't care if it's male or female. It doesn't make me any difference, you know, because I don't back down to nobody. You know, I don't, they know. I mean, it's like people, they want, they want that action, but they're afraid to bring that action because they don't know how they're going to turn out, you know. And um, I just, uh, I, I got to tell you, I got to give glory, honor, and praise to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, because I tell you, he, he just doesn't allow uh, anybody to come up against me and get away with it. I don't care who it is. Um, he doesn't allow anybody to, if somebody even has it in their heart, what I want to say, I, I was going to say, if he, he doesn't allow anybody to set me up, but um, if somebody has it in their heart to try to set me up or do anything, it's just immediately shot down, immediately shot down. They always fall in their own traps. The traps they set for me, they fall into it. You know, they ruin their own lives, trying to ruin somebody else's. My life can't be ruined. My life is fine. Nobody can touch my life. You know, first of all, I'm a grown woman. And I'm going to do what I want to do, say what I want to say, go when I want to go, come when I want to come, whatever. I don't have to answer to anybody but God Almighty. And, uh, you know, of course, abide by the laws of the land. And that's it. That That is it. I'm an adult. You know, and... Uh, we know that when we're little children, you have to do what your parents tell you to do. But, you know, I feel like if it's not your mom or your dad, <clears throat> or maybe somebody that was your caregiver or caregivers on this planet, uh, you don't have to do what anybody tells you to do. You know? Yeah, that's the way I look at it, you know? And uh, I know who the people were that I respected, you know? And um, when I was a child I, and a, or a teenager, I had to obey them. And that's fine. That, that was their job, their responsibility to teach me morals and values and make sure that I was properly trained so that, you know, when I became an adult, I knew the way to go. But as far as just trash out there, you know, that don't like me, you know, because they hate us and they dumb and they stupid and they ignorant, and, you know, ignorant and they have wicked hearts. I don't care about that trash out there. They don't tell me what to do. They don't tell me what to say, where to go. They don't tell me anything. As it pertains to my life. Nothing. And I don't care who they don't like. I don't care if they don't like me. I don't like them either. And I don't think about them like that. I, I you know, at the only time I the only time I think is when I'm uh, looking at my strategy in war. That's it. I don't give two cents about an enemy. I don't care. I don't give two cents. I don't care what they do. I, I don't care about nothing as it pertains to their lives. I don't give two cents. The only thing that um, we were told to do about an enemy, you know, Jesus said, love your enemies and, uh, you know, do good to them and this and that and the third. And that's all you have to do. And it's not your love. It's the love of God. You know, that God gives you. He, that's why uh, people would say, create in me a new heart. I mean, create in me a clean heart. You know what I'm saying? Because your, your heart. <laughs> I mean, maybe there are your, those of you out there that can do it, but I can't. I'm not one. No, I'm not one of those types of. Um, uh, maybe I'm just not on that level yet. Mm -mm, no, mm -mm. because I know right now to this day, if um, I, I mean, I'm just being real. If any of my enemies ever approach me, thinking they're gonna put their hands on me, it's gonna end badly for them. It's gonna end badly for them because I don't know about you all, but I'm not gonna allow anybody to put their hands on me, just because they don't like me. I don't care about that. Yeah, I mean, I don't care about not being light either. You know what I'm saying? If somebody doesn't like me, fine. But you're not going to put your hands on me. You know? And uh, even as it pertains to um, social media and bullying and things of that nature, and I know people probably wondering, well, you know, why is she so unaffected? Well, I'm unaffected because I am unaffected. Because I don't care about that. Because that is somebody else's frustration not mine that has nothing to do with me it has nothing to do with my life my personal life my private life uh, my circle um, 
the activities of, of my life, the, thing, the places I go, the things I do um, for enjoyment, entertainment, uh, just living my life to the fullest and, you know, the, the trips and stuff that I've taken and stuff. You know, what somebody else out there feels towards me has nothing to do with me. That's none of my business. That is somebody that is venting to a computer or a cell phone what they need to be talking to a psychiatrist about, okay? And with that said, God bless you all until next time. Bye-bye.